punch and keeping those eyes Your open. Your eyes are okay? closed in every shot. You got to leave them wide open. It's going to sting a little. It sounded as if you were selling sort of a cheap makeup. This is America's next top model not America's Next Average Model. Today I'm reacting to a photo shoot from America's Next Top Model where they have the girls in a giant fish tank posing underwater and the judges seem upset during judging over a fake sales pitch that they made the girls do. So let's check it out, shall we? This video is sponsored by Squarespace. In a way, when I saw Aquatic Creation, I was relieved that we weren't going to get thrust in with sharks. Dude, what does that look like, the, the environment in a Saw movie? I'm just waiting for Jigsaw to come out in the tricycle or to appear on a mini baby TV at this point. I think by the third or fourth movie, I just stopped watching because, I mean, I don't know who's coming up with the plots, but you need to talk to law enforcement. Way when I saw Aquatic Creation, I was relieved that we weren't going to get thrust in with sharks. We're swimming in some sewage plant. She's like, I'm so happy this wasn't, we weren't going to be modeling in sewage. Wouldn't even be, so, why didn't they use that as a, I'm just surprised that this didn't come up in future seasons is all I'm saying. Someone was fired for that. All right, so it's a fish theme today, obviously. We are going to do a shoot for quench water. Okay, all I can think about is they still bacteria and fish use the bathroom. It's just like, whoa. I want to introduce you to one of That is true. Okay, so it's fish themed. And they are, it's for, a, it's for a water bottle. They're selling water. I don't really think you need to sell us on that. I, I drink water every day. You'll never meet anybody more fabulous than Nole Marin. This is your world top. I'm here. I'm sitting right here. Well, I'm a little mini. offended. Ready for the day, baby. Come on. Okay, so the shoe is for quench water. And it's going to be in some bacteria filled giant tank. Are there any fish owners out here? Please bestow your... No, I'm serious. I want to know what you guys think about this. I was like, bestow your wisdom, but I really want to hear your thoughts on this. This photo shoot in particular is very important because Tyra told me that she couldn't see a lot of feeling in my eyes. And I'm praying to God they see that. This is not a challenge for how long you can hold your breath. And just try to stay in the middle of the tank and make sure you make it look good. You know what? Just get in. Great, great advice. Just get in. The safety protocol, the precautions, who cares? Just get in this giant tank. What if the girls can't swim? Crazy, right? I just, I happen to think about it in passing. Just random thought. Too many bubbles, though. We're getting a lot of bubbles. All right? And try to stay down longer. Okay, go. You need to see that face more, right? You need to twist around so you look into the camera a little more, right? Go oh for it. Oh my God, she looks, she looks miserable. Okay, I'm sorry. She doesn't look like she's having fun. Go for it. Eyes wow, are nice. ten times better. Sorry. That was that, was, that was gorgeous. Now you're working it. Listen up, tough one, you guys got competition. <laughs> Miss Sarah, she was better in the water than she was on land on a photo That's show. Right. Leave it to Mr. J to wait until the first model wraps up to announce to literally everyone, probably interrupting their lunch, to tell them how much better this one model is than all of them. Oh, she's just um, uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. The last time I saw someone so natural underwater was when I was watching The Little Mermaid. Do you know her? Her name is Ariel. Go ahead. Okay, don't be a puffer fish. Sir, she is trying to breathe. They got these poor fish here who involuntarily had to be a part of this photo shoot. They're just kind of floating around. Are they being paid? Can they claim this on their taxes? Nobody knows. Also, where's the water bottle? <laughs> Wasn't it about selling the water bottle? Quench water. Quench your thirst. Is that going to be the tagline? Quench your thirst in the ocean, in the middle of the ocean. Nice. Do they have her in heels? Oh, God. And I'm telling you guys, every time I watch one of these photo shoots, in my head, I'm like, this is pretty bad. But then I see that they're in heels, and it makes it that much worse. Wow. 
box of dress. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah she did a great job. I mean, look, for, for the models doing this for the very first time, they're doing incredible. Get in danger in there. There's some sharks in that water. Kimmy, don't be scared. <laughs> OK, I'm Caribbean. You know, my family is from Jamaica. Let me just think about them in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. oh. Try to be a little more ethereal. Right now I'm getting to, uh, uh. It does seem like she's anxious to be underwater. The second that she went down, she was doing the posing really quickly to make sure the photographer could just take a couple pictures and, and she could be done with it. So let's see how, how the rest of this goes. Uh, uh. Camille got in that tank and I was just expecting amazing. She gave me kind of this like drag queen vogue. Are you nervous? A little bit. I, I think she did very well. Again, it's her first time doing this sort of concept. I, like, I actually kind of like the concept. Underwater photography is always really cool. I will say I would prefer models to have a bit of experience doing that before you kind of put them in this environment. But overall, everyone's doing a really great job. Why? Because I usually hold my nose underwater. What you're going to have to realize is it's more about breathing, mm -hmm. expelling there, uh -huh. and then just kind of sinking in. A little bit, a little bit. Why? Because I usually hold my nose underwater. What you're going to have to realize is it's more about breathing, mm -hmm. expelling there, uh -huh. and then just kind of sinking in. Mm -hmm. If you do a lot of moving around, we get too many bubbles, we can't use that frame. It's going to be interesting to see me holding my breath without using my hands. That's so essentially they want the girls to be holding their breath and not moving around too much so it doesn't create bubbles. I mean, luckily this tank isn't that huge and they can just go back up for air, right? I, listen, I don't know. I don't have experience being in a giant saltwater tank. Never done it before. I have cats, so... Don't breathe, don't move, sink to the bottom. Okay, great, thank you. I tried it, and water goes all up in my nose. She's got to learn to keep her eyes open. Much slower, more graceful. Don't panic. You got to really concentrate on keeping those eyes your open. Your eyes are okay? closed in every shot. You got to leave them wide open. It's going to sting a little, but just get used to your eyes just being open underwater. What I heard was just get used to your eyes burning greatly. This water's looking a little cloudy, though. <laughs> I don't know what's what's in this water. I'm a, I'm a bit worried because we have the fish. Someone in the comments mentioned that this is like a salt water tank. Because then don't you have to have specific type of water to have these fish thrive in? You wouldn't just put regular water, right? But again, I'm not, I'm not a fish expert here. But let me know in the comments. What do you think is in this water right now? Poor girl got to open up her eyeballs. There's no way my eyes are getting opened in any type of water situation. I'm wearing contacts. I can't see without them. It's just not, it's not going to happen. I'll be lost in the middle of the ocean with my eyes closed, pretty much. Ooh, see it, Mara. Absolutely gorgeous girl, but she looked like a walrus wearing chiffon. I'm trying to keep doing my best. In her defense, you could tell she was not comfortable and she wanted to stay close to the surface which I can understand. Trying to keep doing my best, not focus on everyone around me and how they're doing, and just finish this race on top. Nice, wow. Good fish. Like, how does she stay down so long? It's like the Ever Ready Bunny, she just keeps going. Wow. You don't have Bounce to stay down. down there that long if you don't want to, it's okay. She's doing a great job. Yeah, she was down there for a while. The whole, the team is concerned because she's actually doing very well. They're like, she's down there a long time. It doesn't even look like it's phasing her. She's doing a great job. She's very poised underwater. She's beauty, she's grace. She's Miss American. What What was that saying? She's beauty, she's grace. She's Miss, uh, Miss something. Finish that in the... Co what is it? What rhymes with grace? I don't know. Well, is like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, The Matrix. She was fabulous. All right, we're ready. Okay, you can go down, Shandy. She looks constipated. Hold on a second. From the neck up, it does not work. <coughs> Isn't she going to cough into the water that the other girls are going to use? Random thought. What if you accidentally drink the water in the tank? Uh, right? Because all the other girls have been in it? And then the fish? 
I don't even want to think about it. Right? Sh Shandy, she looked petrified, scared, just like a drowning chicken. Again, we have some girls who are great with this concept. Some of them, not so good. Not everyone's good at being underwater, holding their breath, opening their eyes underwater. Another thing I thought of, the girls are having to share the same water over and over again. I feel bad for the last model going in because she's going to have been in the same water as all the other girls plus the fish. So I can't see that being very sanitary. Or maybe, maybe it's okay. I don't know. Lupus goes through remissions and flares. One day I'll be really, really tired and the next day it'll be normal for two days. But um, right now I'm feeling better. Want to go down one to see how you like it? Beautiful, wow. Gorgeous. Beautiful. I love that. All the way. I'm proud because I proved myself. And like Gloria Gaynor says, I will survive in this competition. I think she did a fantastic job. Very soft. She looks she looks great. I love the green eyeliner too. Good good job overall. Oh, that's it. Okay, that wasn't as bad as as I thought. It seemed like all the girls did a great job. And again, I like the fact that it's more of a controlled environment versus putting them again in the ocean, which is what they did a few seasons after this. Yeah, they actually did that. They put them in the freaking the, the middle of the ocean. <laughs> so let's take a look at the final photo, shall we? Honestly, this was this was one of the more tame episodes, I must say. This week you will be tested on your ability to act as a spokesmodel for a pretend cosmetics line named ANTM Beauty. You will be evaluated on how well you present yourselves for 60 seconds. Hi, you guys. Oh, God. Here to promote my new beauty line, ANTM Beauty. We have 500 different combinations, so we are very versatile. What are, what are they, becoming salespeople? She's like, sell me this mascara that we just made up. So they always have the girls do these little challenges before judging. It never really makes a difference. Doesn't change the outcome of who gets eliminated. It does. It's all for fun and games, mostly games. So you walk into my my beauty salon, I will hook you up, and you will look like Tyra Banks. And if you want to, say Tyra's like, gift, how dare she? Well. How right. dare she mention me? She's that girl's getting eliminated for sure. You started off so strong, but and then you mentioned nervous. Tyra. That's when you kind of fell into the homegirl thing. All right, Sarah, you had an underwater. Oh my God, Sarah. It was nice while it lasted, huh? All right, Sarah, you had an underwater photo shoot, and here is your best picture. Wow. Okay, why is there an overlaid font on this? This is supposed to be for the water bottle. They're selling quench water. I don't see any water bottle here. It looks like she's swimming away from something. Like she was at a party on a yacht. She fell into the ocean and she's trying to swim for her life from, I don't know, some someone down there. Freddie, print, uh... Freddy Krueger in the ocean. Jason X. It's not terrible. It's it's okay. It's, it's this one's okay. Just okay to me. I'm I'm excited to see the other ones though. I love underwater photography. NTM understands that every woman needs their own customized brand of makeup. And we also understand that your body is important. They're just judging her. It's not real, you guys. Sure that they're hundred percent allergy free. I'd like to see a little more warmth in your eyes. When you're selling the product, a little more love coming out. It was yeah, like Janice is definitely not buying it. She's like, I will not purchase this allergy-free makeup. We were watching an infomercial for the product. It sounded like you were at an auction. Just da 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 five 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 nine five nine five. That's literally not what she sounded like, but okay. And it didn't make me like you and say, oh, I want to be like April. Tyra, we all know that you're very happy being yourself, and you would never want to be anyone else. Okay, here's your best shot. Wow. wow. I love this red with the blue, but I got to tell you guys, this graphic designing situation is really distracting. What, where's the water bottle? Where's the product that this is supposed to be for? I, that that kind of went out the window. I feel like someone forgot halfway into the photo shoot. They're like, damn it, where's the, where's the quench water? Maybe somebody drank it. They got thirsty on set. 
The way that she's grabbing onto her heel, I don't like. I would have had her just do more free-flowing stuff. Love the position of her body, though, and that she's trying to actually pose underwater. This looks beautiful. We do not test on animals. I am not for the cruelty of animals. We only test on humans. Yes. <laughs> um, I would... Uh, I don't know. I, don't, uh... I thought it was very poor delivery. A little scatterbrained. It sounded as if you were selling sort of a cheap makeup. This is America's next top model not America's Next Average model. All right, okay, so it's not re Nigel. You don't even wear makeup, Nigel. They're making the girls do a sales pitch. What is this, Shark Tank? What are you, are you guys going to be investing money into this? They get, I love how they get upset though. They're personally, they're all personally offended. Honestly, this, what are you, is this cheap makeup? Really? Oh my God, you don't test on animals? Oh my God, wow. Well, I can't believe, allergy free? My goodness. How could, how dare you? This is America's Next Top Model. America's Next Top America's Model. America's Next Average No, model. not average. Right. I love that quote too. This is America's Next Top Model, not America's Top Average Model. But if she was the top average model, wouldn't she not be average? I'm just, I'm just put, I'm solving the riddle here. This is your best shot. Oh. Is it, is that blurry? Hmm. Okay. So um, they chose the absolute worst photo of her. Why? This is it doesn't even look like it's in focus. I think they did her they did her dirty with this one. Why would you pick this picture? You don't think there was a single shot? Okay, if they're gonna pick a photo like this, at least have her eyes open, right? They, they didn't have one picture. I'm suspicious. Question: Why did they have the fish in the tank if the fish aren't gonna show in the final photo? What was the point? What happened there? The mouth is open. You were not catching the fish. The fish were just in the water. Your eyes were closed. We needed your eyes open. And Team Beauty has created. It looked like she was going to say something there for a second, but they, they cut it off real quick. Again, we are only seeing a small clip of the photo shoot. We don't know if she had her eyes open for some of the shots. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. We None of us were there. So, and they clearly cut off whatever she was going to say in response to that. And Team Beauty has created a, and, um, the new A and Team Beauty line is a hip new super Look how they're all judging her, like, all women feel like daggers, looking at her with Jeremy, daggers. It just didn't sell it to me. You're too quiet. You lacked confidence. He's, I love, I just love how passionate Nigel is about this fake sales pitch that they're making the girls do. For no reason. Here's your best shot. Freaky. You did not. Okay, what is going on with the editing here? Okay, this looks like a whole mess, you guys. Her body seems almost overexposed. Someone took a curves layer, set it to hard light, and really let that thing fly off the handle. And then her 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 hand in the back is is like a shadow almost. This it's so this is so strange. I don't know who was in charge of the post processing, but you definitely need to get whatever you paid for that. I hope you have a receipt. You did not work the blouse. You did not work your face. You did nothing but sink like the Titanic. The bottom line is, is that obviously you did get a photograph. All you need is one. No, we don't. I want to see a hundred. You know what? Maybe that's true, Nale. But I think just the what? way you're handling it right now, this is impressing me. Because a lot of the other girls would have burst into tears with that kind of criticism. <laughs> He's like, this, it's impressive to me. The fact that you're able to let me say whatever I want. He acknowledges it himself when he says, most of the girls would have burst into tears from what we were saying. He knows what he's saying is would make someone cry. And TM Beauty customizes your colors. No more second guessing once you get it home or realizing, you know, I just spent $10 on this foundation and it's not my color. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that too. <laughs> you did a great job. It's just that I needed to have a little bit more force and power. Okay, Here, thank you. Whoa. Wow. I will say this is one of the top photos for me. I love her pose, her expression. I think she did a great job. I kind of love the makeup in this. I will say her pose is not my favorite. It's just the pose. And then again, this overlaid text ruins the entire photo. ANTM Beauty is universal. It has, it's packaging and. You are having a complete and utter shutdown. Here's your best shot. Oh gosh. 
why did why are they choosing these shots that i feel like are the girls aren't posed they're not ready i think had her arms been up like this and she's kind of looking back look at me i'm like she should have done this underwater in the tank I, it, it's probably so difficult to pose underwater so i really commend the girls i think they all did a great job oh gosh i think it's the worst picture i've ever seen in my life your hair um, looks like a, a cockatoo there and here. I mean, it's just, you know. It looks a little bit like an adult ultrasound. Your face again, what? nice. Adult ultrasound? <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I, I, they are wrong for this. Um, I'm America's Next Top Model. And I'm here today to introduce to you our product line. Last year, um, I won the competition for America's Next Top Model. And the makeup artists that I met, they used the products on my face, and I really liked it. We test all of our products. Your time is up. Can I say one thing, please? No, that was the time. That was the time you're giving. <laughs> Ground control to Camille. Camille, for me, you were slightly arrogant. You sounded pathological, and it was like psychotic that you won last year. I felt, it made me feel uncomfortable. This whole panel is a mess. Wow, I must say, this picture is stunning. Her pose is everything. Number one picture. If they say anything other than this is the best photo, I won't believe it. Underwater. Beautiful. If you could be like this in person and have that kind of eloquence, you want to win us over with your sweetness as well, not just the sort of sharpness. That's what I thought. Don't say anything about the picture. You know what's good. I would love to do underwater photography. I feel like I would thrive underwater. I just have to do the training, get the oxygen tanks, get the maybe a studio with a giant fish bowl if I want to do it indoors. I don't I don't know. I've never done it before. But what I do know is those pictures will be going on my website using today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to run your business online, build your brand. I absolutely love what they offer and that's why I would recommend it to you guys. Whether you're a professional photographer or not, maybe you're just someone who has an idea for a business or a brand and you need a place to create your vision. You want to have a website, but maybe you're just intimidated because it's, it's just so much work that goes into creating a website. I know how that feels. Trust me, Squarespace is so easy to use. You'll actually have fun creating a website, updating it, customizing it. They have so many cool features. They have image galleries. You can customize how your photos appear on your website, how large they appear, where they are. You can drag and drop and change everything and see it live updating. They have designer templates. So if you don't want to ever change it up, it's super easy. You can just, with a click of a button, you can change your entire template, change up your website. So it's just, the, my whole thing is it's easy to use. And they have so many amazing features. You can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. All the information will be in the description. Let's see who gets eliminated, shall we? Camille, we have a problem with people telling you what to do. And if you have a problem with that, you're not going to be able to be a top model. See you tomorrow. Oh, that was... That was to the point. It wasn't about the photo shoot. It wasn't about the fake sales pitch. Since they're saying this to her, they're probably going to keep her. But they just want it. They only did this to give her a warning. They want to scare her so that the next time she puts up no resistance. So let's see if my theory is correct. So let's see if they keep her after this. See you The judges love your personality, but on photo shoot, you lose your focus and don't take direction well but nevertheless i'm all about a girl with personality really okay they're gonna keep her this is a warning camille i told you guys i told you guys still in the running towards becoming america's next top model thank you Sam. told you i knew it this is again this is all they weren't they they didn't want to send her home they knew that she had the best picture but they want to give her a little warning little nudge this is what happens when you don't listen bottom you might be going home i mean it's just my theory but what do you guys think do you agree overall i don't think this photo shoot was was too bad the execution the final photos not 
did not care for. You put the fish through all that just to show us these pictures? 